So when this camera came out, the Canon M6 Mark II, it didn't have the option of filming in 24 frames per second. And a lot of people, they reacted like this. Uh, 4K, thir where's the, where's? Matt! Matt, where's the 24? Yeah, doesn't have it. Oh, that, wait, what? I mean, right now it doesn't even have 24 frames per second. I switched this camera over to PAL mode to get it to shoot 25 frames per second because that was a stupid decision to exclude 24 frames per second. Steven, you set the camera to 24p, right? Oh, right. Uh, that Canon's decided to implement this year, neither can do 4K in 24 frames per second, nor can either do 1080p in 24 frames per second. You should all just switch to 30. It also lacks a 24p video option, though Canon has promised to address that in a future firmware update. And right now we are shooting in 4K 30 frames per second because the 24 isn't in here yet, but they have told us early 2020 that we will get a firmware update where we will get 24. Now the reason that many people reacted when there were no 24 frames per second in the first edition of the M6 Mark II is that a lot of people think that 24 frames per second is the perfect cinematic look and that 24 frames per second gives you the perfect natural motion blur in your videos. So a lot of people were upset when the Canon M6 Mark II and the Canon 90D didn't come with 24 frames per second. But now Canon has released a new firmware update to the Canon M6 Mark II and with that new firmware update, you get the option of filming in 24 frames per second. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you update your camera to the new firmware. Coming up. The first thing you have to do is you have to download the firmware from Canon's website. Now, depending on what country you're in, the website will look different. Me, I have to go into canon.no, which is the Norwegian website from Canon. But if you live in the United States, you go into usa.canon.com. My experience is that no matter how the web page looks, it's kind of like the same. You go to support in the United States websites, you go to drivers and downloads, and in my country, I go to the same, I go to support, then I go to programs that I can download. When you get into the support site on the Canon website, you just have to search for your camera, which is the Canon M6 Mark II. Normally, then you will get an option of what kind of camera you can select. And here we have the Canon M6 Mark II. This is, as I said, on the Norwegian website. If we do this on the United States website from Canon, you just type in M6 Mark II and as you can see, you get a lot of options. We click on M6 Mark II, then we click go. When you find your camera, the page will load up to all the things that you can do with your kind of camera, which is the Canon M6 Mark II. You have to go to firmware and on my page, you get two options. You get an options for the firmware update if you have a Mac then you have an option if you have a Windows PC. The same goes for the page from the United States. You find your camera, you go down to firmware, then you will have the newest firmware updates on Windows or on Mac. You want to look for the firmware which says 1.1.0, that's the newest one. If you're in the United States, you click select, or for me, as I'm in Norway, I click download, and the download starts automatically. And you can see I have downloaded the firmware update on my computer. I now double tap on this to open it up. And as you can see, I now have the firmware update as a file. It's a .fir. Now what I do next is I take the memory card from my camera and make sure you have an empty memory card you place your memory card inside of your computer. And what you now do is you take the new firmware file from your computer and you transfer it into the memory card. 
and the firmware file, don't place it in any folder, just drop it into the memory card. Now, when you've done this, you can eject the memory card. You now take the memory card and you place it back in your camera. When you have put the memory card back into the camera, you have to turn your camera on. But before you do that, make sure you put the camera in P mode. And you have to place your camera in P mode in order to get into the menu where you can update your camera. So put your camera in P, then turn your camera on, click menu button, and then go to the wrench, which is the yellow page and then on tab number five. Now on the bottom here, you can see what kind of version of your firmware you already have installed of your camera. As you can see, I have the newest firmware updates on my camera, but I will show you how you update your camera anyway. So you click on the firmware, then you get information on what kind of current firmware version you have, and if you want to update your firmware, then you click OK. Now the firmware update program is loading the firmware file from your memory card. And as you can see, please select new firmware version. And my current version of the firmware is 1.1.0, which is the newest firmware. But if you have an older firmware, you probably have another number. And when you want to update, you click the firmware file that you just put into your memory card. Now when you press OK and your update is starting, please remember don't touch any buttons and don't shut off your camera. Let the camera update the firmware or if you do anything, the camera or the firmware might be broken. So let the camera do its job until it's done. And when it's done, you have the option of shooting in 24 frames per second. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want to, and give this video a like if you liked it. And maybe I will see you in another video.